Um, Mr. Cash Carey, um, in the neighborhood I grew up in, in the inner city of Baltimore, one of the things that you tried to do was make sure that you were not considered a chump. And what chump meant was that you didn't want to see want people to see you as just somebody they could get over on. And I'm just wondering how you feel about an AIG given five hundred and three million dollars worth of bonuses out of one hand and accepting a hundred and fifty four billion from hard working taxpayers. I, I you know, because I'm trying to get I'm trying to make sure you get it. You know? I mean and you know what what really bothers me? Is because all these other people who are lined up, they say, well, is Kosh Carey a chump? We can just go in there, and I'm not saying they are. I don't know. We can go in there. We'll get some money. And you know what AIG did? They even will tell you they're coming back for some more. And they have the nerve, the nerve, to grant some $503 million worth of bonuses. I'm just wondering, do you all say, say to yourself, boy, this doesn't look too good. And I'm wondering about them, if it was strictly from a PR standpoint. And I know nothing about PR, but one thing I do know, I wouldn't want to be asking my friend for uh, some money to help me stay afloat. And if I didn't get the money, I'd be out of business. And then for my friend... I say, okay, I'm, I'm really struggling. Then my friend, who can barely afford to go to McDonald's, then walks around and sees me in a restaurant costing $150 a meal. There's absolutely something wrong with that picture.